Hi DIYers, this is Michael from Alarm Grid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to delete a defective Z-Wave device from a 2GIG GC3 or 2GIG GC3E security system. Now a defective Z-Wave device means that the Z-Wave device is programmed with the GC3 or GC3E, but the system cannot find the Z-Wave device. Um, this could be due to a number of reasons. Um, the Z-Wave device may be out of range, wireless Z-Wave range, away from the mesh network. Um, maybe it lost power and it's not powered on, so it can't be detected. Uh, the device might literally be broken or smashed, um, so that's a possibility. Um, you might have lost the Z-Wave device entirely. You don't know where it is on the panel, can't find it. Um, regardless, um, any of those situations will result in a defective Z-Wave device. Um, you'll get the failed node error on the GC3 or GC3E system, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, if the, the failed node is because the device was taken out of range or it lost power, you could potentially fix the issue by powering the device back on or bringing it back within range. Um, so that way the system recognizes the programmed Z-Wave device and it's able to uh, find it and then the, the node will, will fix. It'll, it'll be working properly, um, and the Z-Wave mesh network will be all good. Another possibility, I'll um, just throw out another uh, scenario, is that you had the Z-Wave device paired with the GC3 or GC3E, but then you deleted it from the network using a different uh, Z-Wave hub or Z-Wave controller. In other words, you cleared it from the network using a different hub or controller, and that wipes out the Z-Wave data for the, for the Z-Wave device. Um, and, and then the GC3 still thinks it's paired, but the Z-Wave device says, no, I'm not paired with the GC3E or GC3, and the system can't find it. Um, so if you paired it with another controller without properly deleting it from the system first, you might run into that scenario. And that's actually how we set ours up today. Uh, we, we had an IQ siren on, on the GC3E, uh, that's a Z-Wave siren, and we cleared it from the network using the IQ panel too. So right now on the GC3E, um, it still thinks that the siren is paired with it, but the siren knows that it's not he goes to look for the siren, and since the, the data has been cleared, it, it can't communicate with it properly, and now it's um, going to show the failed node on the system. So I'll demonstrate that. So we're at the main screen of the 2GIG GC3E. It's the same process if you're using the GC3. So we're going to click the 2GIG logo in the upper right corner, and then we're going to enter in our installer code, which ours is at the default of 1561. And then we're going to choose Smart Home Settings. And you can see uh, the chat network box is yellow, and uh, there's an error message, the, the triangle with the exclamation mark in the view all devices um, option. And we're going to choose the view all devices. And we're going to scroll down, and you're going to see that the siren has the error message next to it. Um, according to the, G the GC3E, the siren is still paired with the system. But uh, as I mentioned earlier, we cleared it from the network using the IQ2. So we're going to have to delete this failed node. Uh, so what we're going to do, uh, you're going you're gonna to find the one with the failed node, whatever that is, whether it's a, a siren in our case, or, or you have a light, or a door lock, whatever. And we're going to press the, the three uh, horizontal bars next to it, and then we're going to choose Remove. And it's going to ask us if we want to remove uh, the device, in this case the siren. We're going to click Remove, and then it, it finishes, it removes the device successfully from the system, and we won't get the failed message anymore. Um, so when I back out, you're going to see the check network box is blue, and we don't have the error message, the triangle with the exclamation mark in the view all devices box anymore. So it, we're good to go. We cleared out the error from the system. And we can just return home by repeatedly pressing the return arrow on the left side of the screen. So that's how you delete a defective Z-Wave device uh, from a 2GIG GC3 or GC3E. This is what you'll need to do if you don't have access to the Z-Wave device, because uh, normally you would just do the, the clearing process, um, the traditional conventional process. But if you destroyed the device or you've lost the device, then this is a way to get the error to clear without having to do the conventional process. Um, so that's, that's how you go about deleting a defective Z-Wave device on a GC3 or GC3E. If you have any questions about the 2GIG GC3 or 2GIG GC3E, or you have questions about home automation Z-Wave devices, smart home devices, or about alarm monitoring in general, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.